In this video, I'm revealing exactly how I went from being in $60,000 of debt to making over $5 million online from drop servicing, as well as the lessons I learned along the way. So if you want to build an online business and do whatever it is you want in life, then by the time you finish watching this video, you'll have all the tools you need to get there, learning from my mistakes and copying what worked for me. So I grew up pretty poor, not in poverty, but I didn't always have a full fridge. I had a single mother. I didn't have a lot of friends in school. I wasn't the most popular kid. I wasn't gifted physically or mentally. I remember even being put down into the class for low intelligent, stupid kids for one semester or something. So I didn't have have any external or internal gifts that gave me some kind of advantage for achieving success other than being born into a well-organized society that gave me the opportunity to climb the ladder. But what I did have was an intense hunger to climb my way out of my position in life to achieve my dreams. And if you don't have that unwavering motivation, if you don't want it bad enough, then you're not going to make it. You know, don't even bother starting the journey. And that's the first lesson. Find your why and make it so powerful in your mind that you're willing to do anything to achieve it. So I made it into university somehow. I listened to what everyone tells you. Go to university, study hard, and everything will be handled for you, right? Success feels guaranteed almost. Even if you're majoring in gender studies or something. And in New Zealand, you need to pay for university. So I was in $62,000 of debt because of that. To be exact, by the time I graduated. And while going through my last year of studies, I also worked in a call center selling stuff to old ladies that they didn't need, making minimum wage. Okay. One lesson I learned from that though was that people tend to minimize time and energy, but you can always do more. So, what do I mean by that? Well, for the first three years of my studies, I felt like I was way too busy with classes to be able to handle any part time job. That's what I told myself. But in reality, I was just wasting a ton of time that I couldn't. Have been investing into making money with a part time job, and we all do that. We tell ourselves stories of what we can and can't do when the reality is 99% of the time we can do more, we have more capacity. So, while in university, I first learned about the possibility of being able to build an online business. I never really thought about it at all at the time, but I heard about it somewhere or somehow, and it kind of stayed in the back of my mind during my studies that you know this is what I wanted to do, but I put it off for a few years years and it was kind of like a dream that maybe I could fill in the future. And I think we all do this, right? Because we think we have so much time on this earth when really we don't. So we put things off because they would require effort and we like to minimize how much effort something takes, like I said. And generally we only take action even on something we want to do when there is an external shock to our system. And for me, that happened after I graduated because then the excuse of not starting my business was gone. You know, I no longer needed to study, but I still put it off. I was still working in the call center and I was applying for jobs. I graduated with a master's of commerce degree, majoring in management, not the most difficult degree to get. So I was applying for jobs at consulting firms at the time. And I remember thinking, oh, what am I doing here? Okay. I don't want to work the rest of my life for some stupid company that I don't care about. I don't want to build someone else's dreams. They have these long hiring processes and I just gave up. I'm not applying for any more jobs now. And I went on to my laptop and Googled how to make money online and found that guy again I had heard about all those years prior who was about to launch his program which he actually only did once a year and he was about to do it in a few months. So I did my research, found testimonials of his past students and learned about their stories and that already convinced me to buy. And that's a really important lesson too. In business, real reviews and testimonials from past customers and clients are the most powerful tool you'll have for conversions in your business. If you want to get more sales, just put more you know, testimonials and reviews on your website and generally you'll get more results. And in drop servicing, that's really essential. We have freelancers, we get all of the examples and cases studies and testimonials from them and we're good to go from the start. So we came to the day of the launch for this course and it was actually at a time when I was at work. So I had to sneak into the bathroom to make the purchase. But when the price came up, I, my heart kind of sunk. It was $5,000. I didn't have that much to spend on the course at the time. And I took a massive risk. I put it all on my credit card. It was some kind of $1,000 a month payment plan or something like that. So I took the payment plan and felt such a sense of relief and relief once I purchased it, you know, I had hit my goal, but that's not true. You know, just because you buy a course doesn't mean you've already achieved that success. Even if you like to tell yourself that because nobody is going to do this for you. You know, I can tell 
tell you what to do. I can show you step by step what to do. I can take the horse to the water, but I can't make it drink. And you're the horse. You need to drink. You need to take massive action. Realize only you can do this. You can take information from all of the experts and we can help you do it, but you're still going to need to actually take the actions at the end of the day. So about three months into starting my first business, I landed my first $1,000 sale. And to this day, that sale is the best sale I ever got, the best feeling from any sale. A couple of months after that, I decided to really commit to making this happen. So I quit my job in the city. I kind of quit my life, quit partying, going to the gym, social life all together. I literally moved into the middle of nowhere in New Zealand on a farm in a tiny little cottage where my mother lived and worked on my business every single day, okay? Next, I had my next big goal, which was just $1,000 per week from my business. That's all I needed to start actually traveling around the world and enjoying my life. And that was my biggest goal in life at the time, and it felt great, you know. Then a few months later, I was making enough money to begin traveling the world full time, which for me ended up being around $20,000 per month at the time for the kind of lifestyle and amount of travel that I wanted to do initially. So that might sound quite intense, you know, quit your job, focus on your business, but in hindsight, it was a really stupid idea because first of all, when you have a job, you have the income you can invest into your business. The more money you invest, the more results you get and the faster you get those results. So it probably meant I took a lot longer to get to my goal by quitting my job because you can only work on your business so many hours per day until you burn out and are not getting productive work done anymore. Also, once you've built your business to a certain level, it no longer requires much time from you to grow, it requires more money to grow instead. So by quitting my job, I really just slowed my results, even though in theory it sounds really smart, it's pretty dumb, and I recommend keeping your day job while building your business, not to mention I didn't have any you know, social life or gym or anything like that because I left my city and went to the middle of nowhere. So quitting everything just leaves you wasting more time, essentially. So I had finally achieved that goal of building a business that was automated enough that it was bringing me in enough money to you know travel the world uh, working a few hours per week and i spent the next few years just traveling as much as i could and enjoying myself i progressively automated the entire business hiring project managers lead generators sales people adding more services as well and added multiple marketing channels we were doing you know cold email social media outreach facebook advertising linkedin advertising google advertising and even things like direct mail and i even made my first million dollars online but that didn't even compare to the feeling of seeing my first automated sales notifications popping up on my phone while I was at a bar or on a beach just enjoying myself with my friends so life was pretty good during this time but honestly I started to feel kind of bored life isn't just about hedonistic pleasure and doing whatever you want and at a certain point you need that challenge and growth to feel like you're making progress so I was traveling I was meeting many people and helping them start Start their own online businesses using a method I call drop servicing and in the back of my mind I think I always wanted to teach others how to do this because beyond achieving my own dreams I could help others to achieve theirs so there was this one time where I actually helped my friend Kevin start his Facebook ads agency while I was visiting him in Bucharest and he landed his first client with $12,000 in just six days of starting using the strategy I taught him and we were having this conversation where I was basically saying I need a new challenge I need to do something new and he said to me you know why don't you just start teaching this to others most of the people teaching don't even do what they teach you actually do it and it works so why not teach it and I remember back to that $5,000 course I bought that got me started in this and it wasn't the best course the coaches also kind of sucked thinking back in fact I know I was pretty frustrated with how basic it was okay and it still gave me a good start don't get me wrong I really appreciate it but I knew that I could do a much better course than that but I didn't want to charge $5,000 because I wanted to be more accessible to a general audience who maybe can't afford that but at the same time I didn't want it to be too cheap as well that anybody could learn what we do that just devalues the strategies to some extent and they would get less access to me because I only have so much time right so I went to work on this new program for months I really poured as much effort as possible into it because I was terrified you know what if it doesn't work for others which is crazy to think because everyone I had helped so far had got results 
but I was still worried that you know people buying it, actually selling it, and not getting results. That really scared me. So by the end of a pretty intense period of deep work, I created a program. It was like 100 plus hours of training videos, 200 plus templates from my own drop servicing businesses, and I was doing all of the teaching myself too, and in the community myself, which I still am to this day. If you're a member of our community, you know I'm probably the most active member out of the 3,000 people who are currently in there, still commenting and replying the most. And I'm still a coach talking face to face with our members. But now we have other six and seven figure coaches who were past students helping me with our community because it is pretty big all of these years later. But once we launched the program, my fears went away pretty quickly because I saw people getting results. At this point, it's like a rite of passage in our community to post your first sales. So we have hundreds of success stories that we know about at this point, And many of our members went on to do things as big as me with their drop servicing businesses. Christian joined and after after three months, he was making more with drop servicing than what he was making in his full-time job. So he quit his job three months after joining the program and he made $142,000 revenue with drop servicing at that point, despite having no digital marketing knowledge. Then Lauren joined the course. She devoted six weeks of evening study after work to the course content and achieved $8,000 in her first drop servicing sale within six weeks and 58 k in the next six months. Alexis secured his first 1K sale within two months, achieving full financial independence after 12 months and is currently running a business that generates six figures annually. And yeah, we have hundreds of stories like that. I could go on and on about it, but my, my story ended up being pretty cool. So hopefully that was inspiring for you. Um, the results we generate hopefully motivate you as well because you can do this too. You know, you can check out the two hour training description below this video if you want to learn a little bit more about drop servicing and what we do, how to earn your first $10,000 online with drop servicing. But yeah, otherwise, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.